Hi, this is Tracy's Kitchen and Appalachian Adventures. I'm going to talk about blackberry cobblers. Now, when I make cobblers, uh, I prefer a non-traditional pie crust uh, for um, <laughs> excuse me, blackberries, blueberries, cherries, any type of lemon meringue pie, pecan pie. Um, I prefer a non-traditional crust. With apple pie, I usually um, use a traditional pie crust. I usually buy it. Now, what is pie crust? It's basically flour, lard, and ice water. So some people use uh, warm water, which messes up the whole pie crust, but um, that's what it is, ice water. So um, I did have a, a really delicious pie crust last year. Uh, there was uh, an apple pie from a bakery in Philadelphia or somewhere in Pennsylvania. It was a very delicious pie crust. I think it had a little bit of lemon zest in it. But you can make pie crust for lemon meringue, pecan pie, or any of those type of pies. You can use a shortbread. You can use a nutty, a nut-based crust, sponge cake, which is I think is good, or angel food cake. Now, for this uh, blackberry recipe, I use angel food cake. Now, I went ahead and bought a box of angel food mix bake the cake, uh, cut it in two, and cut it up into bite-sized pieces. Now, this particular uh, blackberry cobbler, you can eat it hot off the press. It's still good. Or you can, uh, I prefer to let it sit in the refrigerator for overnight, give it a chance to blend all the flavors, and the same with the, um, with the angel food cake. Let it sit overnight in the refrigerator so it can rest a little bit. Um, but okay, I made the apple pie, I'm, I'm sorry, the angel food cake, cut it up into bite-sized pieces. You can also do this. Take the sauce, put it at the bottom of one of these pans, put the um, angel food cake over it, let it cook like that. You can do it that way too. Um, but this is how I made the sauce. Now, I bought uh, these little containers right here right here i bought four of these containers of blackberries four of them they were on sale okay so i bought four of them and then i bought one container of blueberries now um you know first of all i let the blackberries and the blueberries just sit in the vinegar for for a few hours just to kill all those germs and stuff like that okay so um i took one one container of blackberries and one container of blueberries, which ended up be ended up being about a cup each, and um, I put that in a blender. Okay, so now I, I've got my sauce right. So I put that. This is stove top. I put that in my pan, and I let that start cooking. And then I added the other three containers of um, blackberries, and um, you know I put it on low heat, medium heat, and just let it start cooking. Now some people. Add three to four cups of sugar. I could never do that because that would spike my sugar levels up. And I like to keep my sugar levels down. So I use one cup of brown sugar reluctantly, but I did use one cup of brown sugar. Okay. And I use one tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. I mix that in with the uh, sugar and I added it to the sauce. Now, some people also use a whole pound of butter. I think that's too much. I use one half of a stick of margarine for mine. Now, like now, when I make any type of cobbler, I like to actually see the fruit. I mean, if I make, um, <coughs> excuse me, apples, I like to see apples. If I make blackberries, I like to see blackberries, cherries. I like to actually see pecan. I don't. I hardly ever eat pecan pie. I really don't. It's just way too much sugar for me. Corn syrup, dark corn syrup, light corn syrup. No, okay. But anyway, I prefer to see, I like to see the pecans. I like to see the lemon. I like to taste the lemon. If I'm going to make any type of cobbler, any type of fruit pie, I like to see the fruit. So, uh, like I said, it was three of these containers of blackberries. I put one container of blueberries, one container of blackberries in the blender. That is the sauce. So I blend, I'm blending all this together on the stove top. And I add the sugar mixture, the corn syrup. I let it cook. Uh, I let it cook uh, about 10 to 15 minutes. Not, do not overcook it. 
I put one half stick of butter in it. Do not overcook it. Okay, you don't want to, you know, destroy all the nutritional flavors of it. Okay, so anyway, this is the finished product. So you have this. Now you can see the um, angel food cake. You see the blackberries under there, the angel food cake, and the sauce. Now, if you can see this, now you see you can actually see a blackberry. Okay. See, that's what I like. I like to actually see the fruit. Uh, now, this sauce is so good. It's really good. And you have um, a little bit of angel food cake in there. It is so good. Okay. Just put a little bit of angel food cake. It's so good. Okay. Now, what's delicious about this very simple recipe is that the sugar, sugar does not overpower the blackberry, blackberries. That's why I just use one cup of brown sugar, reluctantly, but that's what I use. But the sugar does not overpower the blackberries. And besides that, there is some fruit sugar in the blackberries, so you don't have to overpower it anyway. But this is so delicious. It really is. It is so delicious. Everybody in the house likes it too. So that's my um, straightforward recipe on blackberry cobbler. Now, of course, you don't have to eat everything at once. Okay, that's how you diet. That's how you keep your weight down. You don't eat everything at once. You don't eat a whole blackberry cobbler all week. I mean, that could be five pounds. Okay. Um... You just eat a little bit of it, you taste it, and then you just put it in the freezer for another day. But you no, know, you don't eat everything at once. I mean, when you're dieting, you can have some things, you just can't have it all the time. Okay, so you can have a, a modified blackberry cobbler, doesn't, but it doesn't mean you have to eat it every day. Okay, so anyway, this is really delicious. Uh, this. Blackberry cobbler. It's the angel food cake. You got the blackberry juice and whole blackberries. You can actually see the blackberries. You know what you're eating. Have a nice day, y'all.